Hi everyone, my name is Neha and this is the first lecture on CET exam preparation guide. In this lecture, we are going to learn about what CET exam is, how it is useful, we are going to see the exam structure and some example problems. So let's get started. CET, it stands for Certified Electronics Technician. It is designed for technicians who have less than two years experience or trade school training for electronics technicians. The CET exam, it, can, it encompasses the basic electronics theory and applications used in all electronics disciplines. For example, it includes electrical theory, test equipment, circuits, telecommunications basics, and some work procedures. Every certified electronics technician, they must pass the associate exam before they can qualify to sit for the full journeyman certification. Once a technician has completed the four-year term, they should specialize and take our journeyman option. The CET also has an optional hands-on component that can be used as a part of the training process and will be noted upon completion and passing of the CET examination. Next, the associate exam, it will be of half price if you take this exam along with the journeyman certification at the same time. And if you hold a CERTEC B certification with all four modules, we're going to talk about these modules later on. So for right now, understand like if you have these four modules, then you would be eligible to roll over into an ETA uh, Associate Electronics Technician certification. Here, this ETA is an organization uh, which basically conducts the uh, CET certification program. Now to apply, you must fill out the rollover form and send a copy of your B certificate showing all four uh, modules checked and up to date to ETA via this information fax number is given and then through email you can send and then the fees will be uh, going to be uh, $60. So on the right, you see this form. This is the ETA certification rollover form. That's how it looks like. And you fill out the information and then you can directly send it to the ETA. Now, here are some additional information. So the price for ETA exam, if you take it uh, separately, uh, then it will be of $65. Uh, maintenance is required. You have, uh, you have you can keep the certificate for four years and then after that you need to renew the certificate. Uh, Hands-on is not required in this examination and there are going to be 100 questions and among them the passing score is going to be 75% and time allowed to do the test will be of two hours. This exam you can take online at Lake Washington campus. Now next we have SET exam information. So SET is another exam uh, and it is for student electronic technician and uh, it is mainly for high school and post-secondary programs uh, which offer training in basic electronic applications and is ETA's most basic electronics certification. Thus SET, uh, it can be used for program assessment as well. The SET ha also has an optional hands-on uh, component that can be used as a part of the training process and will be noted upon completion and passing of the SET examination. And the fees for this exam is $35. Next, we have electronics modules. So this is based on ETA's associate labor certification and the comp uh, competencies have been divided into these five sections which are also called modules and the purpose of this is to align uh, with a growing portion of the electronics education industry uh, that is charged with providing electronics training now these uh, five basic modules of the cities they can be acquired individually also so this is because uh, sometimes companies they need uh, certain skills and knowledge for their workers and they want their workers to have required knowledge and skills for only the technology and processes uh, they currently use at that company and that's the reason the individual electronics modules are also being offered now next we have uh, 
these so once a technician attained all five module certifications uh, ETA will issue an official CET certification so you need to pass all these modules in order to get the certification and all these five modules you can see here and hands-on skill exam components are available if you would like to take then you can uh, go for that uh, the technician may also choose to gain only those modules needed in order to be employed and uh, the price for each module is $30. So on ETA website uh, you'll have to look for electronics modules program under that you can uh, pick uh, any module you want uh, to take exam for. Uh, so that's the way how it works and now next we have free retake so ETA allows one free retake with all ETA certification exams after a 30 day waiting period so these retake uh, these retakes must be completed within one cycle of the first exam session and this does not allow for uh, FCC exams so now we have competency requirements so all these topics which you see here uh, they actually they are actually uh, the part of the five modules uh, which i have shown you in the previous slide uh, so i'm going to go by one by one of these topics so like safety procedures in this uh, you may you might ask to explain the first step concepts and its particular importance to workers in electric and electronics field and then you have electric theory in that you might ask uh, to describe atomic structure the components of atoms and their charges and importance uh, to electronics technology and then you have electronic components in this you might ask to identify different types of capacitors what is their uses their readings uh, etc and then uh, in electronic circuits series and parallel connection you might ask to uh, solve a RLC circuit uh, and any uh, any star connection or delta connection next you have soldering desoldering tools so in this you might ask to explain the reasons for flux usage and describe its types you might ask to list types of solder and reasons for choosing each and then you have log diagrams, schematics, wiring diagrams. So in this, you might ask to make how the flowchart works. So that kind of stuff. And then you have cabling. So you might ask, uh, they might ask you to uh, describe impedance and its causes, explain reason for maintaining a cable characteristic. Uh, so those kind of questions. And then you have further uh, topics under these five modules. Uh, so next we have test equipment and measurements. So you might ask to describe the oscilloscope and how this that can be used. You might ask to uh, describe to use uh, a, a generator. Uh, and then you have mathematics and formulas. So in this, uh, all those formulas which are like uh, Ohm, Ohm's law, power equation, resistance equation, all this uh, comes under that under under this topic. And then you have power supplies. So in this, you might ask to explain shock hazards when serving uh, servicing power supplies in electronic equipment. You might ask to describe the differences between transformer uh, powered supplies and line contacted supplies. And then you have different types of amplifiers, uh, you know, inverting, non-inverting amplifiers, summer amplifier, difference amplifiers, all those etc. And then you have interfacing of electronics products. So in this, you might ask to explain input circuit signal levels, which may be expected for various common electronics products or test equipments. And then you have digital concepts and circuitry. So in this, you might ask to explain different logic gates, their truth tables, uh, counters, uh, etc. And then you have other topics under those five modules, uh, which I mentioned here, uh, computer uh, electronics and computer applications. So in this, you might be asked to differentiate how the computer block diagram works, uh, knowledge of basic computer operation. Uh, you might ask to explain the steps in installation setup, setup of a uh, computer. Uh, and then you have audio and video system. Uh, in this, you might ask to explain how signal may conflict and the symptoms the conflict, the conflict may uh, produce, 
how to isolate uh, troubles between discrete equipment units and then you have optical electronics in this you might ask to explain common electronics display devices uh, you might ask to explain how LCD display operate and their advantages disadvantages and then you have radio communication technology so in this you might ask to explain wave, pro wave propagation uh, its importance to wireless communication. You might ask to explain a theory of how antenna works. Uh, you might ask to explain list the types of different transmission lines. Uh, and then you have telecommunication basics. In this, you might ask to describe uh, major types of uh, two-way radio communications like avionics, land, mobile, maritime, etc. And then you have technician uh, work procedures. So in this one, you might ask to uh, explain major invoice and billing concepts for service businesses. You may ask to describe ways to procure uh, service literature. So that kind of stuff can be asked in this uh, topic. Now let's see some uh, example problems uh, which, can, which you can uh, see in the CET examination. So this first question uh, asks what is the number one concern in regards to electrical safety. So you have four options to choose from. Uh, first is proper uh, grounding, second is EST, uh, electrostatic discharge and then you have shock and uh, next is your uh, faulty equipment. So uh, in my view, uh, number one concern is the shock. So shock is the number one concern in regards to the electrical safety. So the C is the uh, correct answer in this case. Next we have uh, what components value is measured in millihenries. So you know the answer. The answer is B for inductor. Uh, next question says, uh, what is the primary advantage of a FET, which is the field effect transistor, when compared to the bipolar transistor? Uh, high input impedance, low input impedance, gate biasing is uh, resistive controlled uh, or no advantages. So definitely uh, A is the answer. Uh, FET has higher input impedance when compared with the bipolar transistor. And then you might ask to, uh, uh, to find the frequency uh, if a sine wave is given, something like this. So this you can uh, find uh, by looking at this uh, waveform here all the information is given so if you see the time is given which is uh, 4 millisecond so you know that frequency is uh, 1 by time uh, time period so you'll put that value and then you will get answer B which is uh, 250 Hertz and then next question is when the frequency of an applied voltage is increased the capacitive resistance of a circuit will uh, either decrease or increase stay unchanged or short all capacitors to ground. So you know the formula of capacitive reactance uh, which is Xc is equals to 1 by 2 pi Fc. So there is an inverse relationship between the frequency and the capacitive reactance which means if the frequency is increased then the capacitive re reactance should be decreased. So the answer is A for this question. The next question is, uh, why are crystal oscillators preferred uh, over other types of oscillators? And you have uh, four options. Uh, first is when keeping frequency error or drift at a minimum is important. Reduced amplitude through degenerative feedback is preferred. Tolerance for frequency error or drift is not important. When a resistive dampening uh, effective is ne needed. So the answer in this case is the first, uh, which says when keeping frequency error or drift at a minimum is important. So that's why crystal oscillators is preferred over other types of oscillators. And I hope you remember that crystal oscillators, they are used um, in communication and we have learned about it. Now next is, uh, what is the hexadecimal equivalent of the decimal number 622? So we have uh, covered uh, this type of problems in uh, digital electronics, how to do the conversion. For 622, if you do the conversion, uh, then, uh, uh, then your answer will be uh, going to be uh, 26E. So 26E is the hexa hexadecimal uh, equivalent of this uh, decimal number. And next uh, problem is 
An electromagnetic wave is composed of an electromagnetic and electric field. What are at dash from one another? So there are different angles which are given 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, 45 degree. So we have learned this thing in the communication. So we know that uh, electromagnetic wave, uh, the electromagnetic and the electric wave, electric field, they are uh, perpendicular to each other, which is 90 degree. So our A is the right answer. And then you have this next question. Um, in the circuit below, what is the current uh, across R2? So this is our R2, which means you have to find the current across this 25 ohm uh, resistance. So these types of circuits you have uh, solved already in uh, ELEC 130, uh, 137. Uh, so you know that uh, this is a parallel uh, resistance circuit. Uh, you know that in parallel resistance circuit, the voltage uh, is going to be same. So throughout this three uh three resistances the voltage is going to be uh, 50 volts so we know the voltage uh, here we know the resistance here so we can calculate the uh, current so or you can what you can do uh, you can take the parallel combination of these uh, three resistances and then you can find out the total current and then from there uh, you can find out the individual current so if you solve this uh, then you will find uh, that 2 ampere will be the answer uh, which will flow through this uh, r2 resistance which is uh, 25 ohm so these types of questions you are going to see in the cet examinations and they are pretty easy and i hope you can uh, easily attempt all these questions uh, with good accuracy now, what are the books uh, you need to study from? So, this is the basic book, uh, the Associate CET uh, Study Guides, Certified Electronics Technician. You can find this from Amazon. And then you have another book, Certified Electronic Technician, Admission Test Series. This is also available on Amazon. And there are uh, more information uh, that I'll provide you on, uh, that you can find it from the uh, modules on, uh, CET modules on uh, Canvas. So this is the end of the lecture. Thank you so much for watching.